The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. And we know the great reward that will not only be gained, but rather will fill your grave after your death. Whenever someone prays there, whenever someone gives shahada in the masjid, whenever someone learns something in the masjid, yes, that will be something that you'll have on your scale. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? I'm joined with the main man with the plan, Ali D, Ali Dawa. How are you doing, brother? You're right. Alhamdulillah. How are you doing? See, right? It's been challenging times, hasn't it? Let's it, be has, honest. it has been, alhamdulillah. But we have a voice, me, you, Zishan, and the rest of us, the Dawa squad, the Dawa team, yeah. the sect. Alhamdulillah, we've been able to really get through to a lot of people and make a change. And we continue hoping to do yeah. the same thing. But there's an individual, as you know, called mm. Douglas Murray. Mm. Some people call him Gutless Murray because mm. of the amount of times he's been challenged to debate and the amount of times he's refused mm. that challenge. He doesn't have the guts. He doesn't have the guts. Uh, this individual has come out and fabricated lies. Fabricated lies, not just uh, about Muslims and about IDF and all that stuff, which he does. And he's, he's got a lawsuit with me. He has to put his little suit on mm. and walk into the court and defend himself mm. because of... Actually, he's mm. got, we've got a hearing with him. Mm. Not only that, but now he has to de defend himself again because he's lied about the religion of Islam. Let's take a look at the clip and come back. Sure. Of course, that Muhammad, the founder of Islam, himself beheaded, massacred many, many Jews. Famously, there's one battle in particular, um, and the, uh, the Banu Quraysh, it's a story you can find in the, um, in the Quran and the Hadith, uh, and uh, of course, this is because the Jews would not accept the revelation of Muhammad, such as such as it was. And so they were one of they were a scene within Islamic tradition as being one of the first people who turned down the opportunity to mm -hmm. join Islam. And as a result, of course, Muhammad uh, 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 decapitated hundreds and hundreds of Jews. Um, so that's not a good start. Now, there's a few things I just want to point out um, off the cuff. Number one, it's not Banu Quraysh, it's Banu Quraidah. And that's a major difference because Quraysh is actually this, the tribe of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he didn't even get the names right. In fact, this is a, a serious error. Mm. And this shows you the incompetence, the negligence, the foolishness of this particular individual. Mm. Number two, no serious historian, okay, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim, Spanning the works from Ibn Ishaq to Ibn Hisham mm. to the uh, Musa ibn Uqba to all of these figures that have written Sira all the way up mm. to uh, Karen Armstrong and yep, these kind of mention it, yep, all of these yep, even none of those have a characterization of the events mm. as he has put it. In fact, what he said is completely a lie. There, there wasn't such a pact that he saw. There wasn't such a uh, series of events yeah. where uh, the Jews of Banu Quraidah were said, "Come into Islam, and if you don't, they will kill you." Mm. This is a lie. In fact, the Quran very clearly says, "La ikraha fi din qatta bayn al rushdu min al ghay," that there is no compulsion in religion. That truth has been made clear from falsehood. And that particular tribe, and there was many of those tribes, and we don't need to speak about Banu Qaynuqa or Banu Nadir for now. There's other tribes, the Jewish tribes that existed with the Prophet. As you know, mm. they, they had a pact with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There was a, a kind of constitution that protected their rights and allowed them not just to practice their religion as Jews, mm. but to have a parallel legal system yep. where they can rule on their own religion. Yep. That was the freedom that they were afforded. Mm. And this was five years into the Medinan period where the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had the polity. Mm -hmm. And in fact, what really took place was that the combatant, the males in that tribe, the combatants, mm -hmm. the male combatants, because women didn't as much in the medieval period uh, engage in fighting, they conspired with uh, the pagan Arabs at the time. Yeah. They conspired with them in a particular battle, which actually resembles what's happening in Gaza, which we'll talk about in a second, yeah. called the Battle of Al-Ahzab, or the Confederates, which is mentioned in chapter 33 of the Quran, and is mentioned in the Sirah as well. And because of this conspiracy, conspiracy to kill and to kill uh, the Muslim people, uh, the, the male combatants or the males among the, the particular Banu Quraidha tribe mm -hmm were decapitated, not by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi but in fact by Sa'd ibn Mu'adh, mm. who they accepted as an arbiter. Mm. arbiter. Mm. So this is actually, he gets so many things wrong here. Mm. And if, if we want to go into detail, there was actually figures like Ibn Sa'da and others who were males, mm. who were spared because they were seen not to dishonor the, uh, some serial writers, they didn't dishonor the treaty. Mm. So uh, the point being is that 
this cannot be compared to what is happening now, can it, Ali? Because in our religion, not only is there yeah. which is the idea that there's no compulsion in religion. In our religion, there is this idea that there's no killing of the civilians. Yeah. No, and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned very clearly mm. that there's no, uh, there's no killing of women, there's no killing of children, and there was no killing of women, and there's no killing of children. Mm. And how could it be, Ali? And tell us, because this man, you know him, and you've been following him as well, a little bit. How could it be that they think that they have the moral high ground after all that they support and all that they've done? How dare they come to the people of Islam and the religion of Islam, which was it's the only religion of the medieval and ancient and antiquity period mm. of that kind of period out of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam that says Fadla. There is no virtue of a white man over a black man, mm. an Arab over a non-Arab. It's the only you'll not find the equivalent of these statements. Mm. Yeah, you will not find the equivalent in the Old Testament or the New Testament. Mm. Yeah. So how could they think that they have the moral high ground and they're supporting people like the IDF who are indiscriminately killing women and yeah. children, ba babies' uh, heads are being blown out. Mm. Tell us more about this. I mean, to be honest, in a nutshell, it goes back to uh, deep hatred and dehumanization of the Muslims yes. at large. Um, wherever yes. they are, whoever they are for that matter. And you can very see clearly that they do not condemn IDF. They do not condemn what's going on in Israel. Yes. Why? Because they do not see Muslims as human beings. Mm. And this is exactly what he's doing. Because for him to come and try to uh, flip this whole story on his head by talking about Banu Quraidah. Banu Quraidah, like you said very clearly, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Mushrikeen, the I, uh, I do worship were coming to kill the Muslims. And not only that, inside Muslim armies, there were spies and Munafikun. These are hypocrites who were plotting to kill the Muslims. On top of that, you've got an enemy in front of you, you've got enemy in, inside you, and you have a pact with Banu Quraidah, with it, which is a Jewish uh, 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 community, tribe, which betrayed that. And anyone who is who goes into war, like war, you will understand that, for example, if America was to go to war with Russia and UK is their allies and UK backstabs them, what do you think they should be done with, with United Kingdom? Mm -hmm. There would be severe consequences on the fighting men. That's exactly what happened. And you can see, brothers and sisters... you can see that it's not civilians and women and children in, in like no what way, Israel is doing. Exactly. And not only that, we've, had, we've seen rabbis Mm. We've seen Israeli politicians. We have. We've seen IDF. We have. We've even seen Israeli settlers. Yes, we have. These are your common layman yes, who are have. clearly perpetrating and admitting and saying, yes. it's not Hamas we're targeting. Yes. We want to flatten Gaza. Yes, we So are. just imagine for a moment and a second yes. that we had layman Muslims saying, yeah. we want to get rid of the Jews as a, as a whole. And yes. then you've got the Muslim politicians saying, yes, this is what we're going to do. And yes. then you have the Muslim armies enacting that. There would be outright global outrage. There would be chaos. There would be. But this is the point here we do Making not have points. look rabbis are coming out and saying they are quoting Amalekites yes. look ben, you made a video Benja on your channel, Benjamin right? Netanyahu even mentioned this yes yes yeah why are they mentioning who's Amalekites Amalekites are a group of people that went against uh, God Almighty and God Almighty this is an instruction of ethics of war uh -huh. told Moses uh -huh. go to the Amalekites where's this First Samuel 15 yes right? First Samuel chapter 15 verse 2 to 3 and yes. kill who men men women women children, children. Babies, babies and even donkeys donkeys now I want to ask a simple question what does the donkey do I asked that question to a lot of Christians and what uh, does the donkey do though? I asked that I, uh, what do they do I don't think anyone can answer it the point is what they are the ones outright we ask Douglas this this gutless coward yes. show us a single scripture in our was Holy Scripture in any way on the Islamic tradition well, that give, tells us to indiscriminate us look, to look, look, it's a, it's a ethics us to of kill. war yeah. to kill men, women, children and babies That's so right. how dare you again it That's goes back right. to what the dehumanization of Muslims yes. he does not want anyone not yeah. a single British person yeah. to ever feel sorry for Sympathy the Muslims for what's happening zero yes. that's why he mentioned this story saying that they because they didn't want to accept Islam and he fabricated them an absolute lie it's an absolute lie. No, Not it's, it's now he looks like a fool, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, but he's always looked like a fool before this. Yeah. He yeah, won't even find anybody who's an Orientalist who agrees with never, that characterization never, of the story. Never. And that shows you, I mean, this is a short video, but this individual yeah. here who's been reluctant, if not actually completely, um, non-accepting of any kind of debate. Mm. He's a coward. He's an absolute uh, joke of a human yeah. being. And I think that he's going to have to defend himself either way. But it's going to be in a legal way when he's going to put in his 32-inch uh, uh, mm. blazer on his body mm. or, uh, and then he's going mm. to uh, put his little shoes on, mm. uh, his mm. size uh, six shoes, mm. and then he's going to walk mm. to the courtroom mm. and he's going to have to defend himself for defamation yes. of character. And the lawyers have already put the summons to him yes. uh, and he's going to humili be humiliated there yes. as well assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh hey you are you wasting your time on social media again your brothers and sisters in the slam net from norway are establishing a masjid a dawah center establishing a masjid to convey the message of islam is one of the best deeds a muslim can do 
There's a huge need for it in Norway. You know this and I know this. So that makes the reward even greater. So give generously and Allah Azza wa Jal will give you even more.